School is almost back in session, and my next guest from Made Moguls is here to help students prepare for the upcoming school year with their fun and interactive Back to School Youth Event Summit. So here to more, sh share more about it is Tony Davis. Hi. Hey. How's it going, Tony? Hi, I'm pretty good, man. How you doing? All right. All so right. glad you could make it. Uh, glad to um, be here. Could you tell us a bit about organization as a whole. What, what is MADE Mobile? Uh, so MADE, uh, to start with the name, MADE is an acronym for Mentoring and Developing Entrepreneurship. And the organization does just that. Um, so we use entrepreneurship as kind of like a platform to build other transferable life skills. So that's how you get our etiquette workshop, that's how you get things like our Back to School Youth Summit, uh, which is coming up in August. What do they learn? Uh, at each one of these different things in the program. How long does the program last and what do they learn? So we facilitate in a couple of different ways. So we work in school, out of school, we do longer programs. But in essence, it's all about teaching them um, the essence of entrepreneurship and the basis of running a business. So we're just trying to inspire that entrepreneurial spirit. And it primarily serves kids uh, of, of lower privilege? Or? Yeah, yeah. so we primarily focus on lower income households. Uh, we're open to all students, but that tends to be our target demographic. Um, how do they get involved? Do they sign up somewhere? Yeah, so it depends on what program we're doing. Um, like I said, a lot of times we're in the school. So, of course, if we're at your school, you can sign up through your school, or if we have like an event like the Youth Summit, it's generally open to anyone. And our Facebook, Instagram, and our website, it's a good way to stay up to date on whatever we got coming up. Do kids bring ideas to you? Say like, you know, like, oh, hey, I got this idea for an app. Oh, yeah. What can I do? Yeah, absolutely. We get those all the time. And um, I try to like expand their horizon. Like, you know, don't cap yourself to where you are at 14, 15, 16, you know, go for it full fledged. So we get great ideas. I've, I've heard ideas years ago that now are in fruition now. It's like, <laughs> oh man, that kid should have did it because now it's actually a real thing now. But yeah. So you guys get a 20% cut if they become the next oh, Jeff Bezos, right? <laughs> I wish, I wish. No, I mean, I get the cut of just seeing them do it, right? I just feel like entrepreneurship is like the most empowering thing ever, especially for people coming from low-income environments when resources and opportunities are so limited. Um, entrepreneurship kind of takes that back, where it's like, you know, it's not about can you find a job or can you be given an opportunity? It's like, no, can you put the work in and make an opportunity? So that's why I'm real big on that. What part of the program have you noticed really excites them the most? Is there something that, that their eyes widen up? It's oh, usually the, the idea portion of it, right? And, and actually getting from in their head to actually something that they can say and when it's actually something that they can present, right? When you see that early stage, it's like the, that's the, the lighting in the bottle, uh, so to speak, like just seeing something come to life. And I don't know if they're like me. I know there's a part of the program that deals with the financial stuff. Oh, yeah. If it's like me and it's like NASDAQ <laughs> with down 5%, <laughs> is, is that hard to keep them engaged for financial It is, stuff? it is. And, and, you know, financial literacy is so important. Um, and it's like the big missing piece. So it is hard to keep them engaged, but we're doing a lot of different things. In fact, um, we just took over a magazine last year, uh, On the Money, which is like a financial literacy empowerment magazine, which is all about just exposing them to like financial terms like credit, saving, interest. So when we do have those conversations, it's not like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> like FICO what? Like what is yeah. that score? So really just exposing it at an early enough age to where when it's time to deal with it, it's not so foreign or you don't fall asleep. <laughs> Um, so you do keep tabs on the kids after they've finished the program? We try. So we try. Um, generally, um, I personally develop a lot of relationships with the kids. So, you know, they'll usually circle back at some point. But the goal is definitely try to keep tabs on. It's not always possible. You know, kids graduate, go off to college. Um, but we definitely try um, to keep in contact with them as much as possible. And you, you talked about uh, funding. How do you guys primarily fund the program? So we've been primarily self-funded um, up until this point. Uh, we do host a black tie gala uh, where we uh, acknowledge like other individuals that are working to improve the community, but it's also a fundraiser at the same time. So that's a big fundraiser that keeps us afloat. And um, for the most part, we've just been kind of bootstrapped up until now. That's amazing. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll be talking about that more in just a second along with the youth event. So stay with us at STL Live. We'll learn more about Tony Davis uh, from Made Mobiles right after this break.